joined now by Peter and George Horn. Uh, Pete, congratulations on uh, your Thanks. return to the Scotland starting lineup. Return at, at ten. Yeah. Uh, pretty excited, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, we've had um, a good week's training, and you know, it's obviously a big opportunity for me to to get in and, and get a crack at. Um, yeah, in front of the, the home fans and things, it'll be my first time playing in front of um, the Myfield crowd, so I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It's two years since you, you made your, your debut for Scotland. Yeah. Um, and as you say, it's your, your first opportunity to play at, 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 at home. Mm. Um, the experience that you've had over the last fortnight of 10, I guess, has, has proved <coughs> pretty important for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's something the Scotland selectors have, have been speaking about, you know, trying to get as much game time as I can at Club at 10. and. You know, the last few weeks with Finn being away and, and through Duncan being injury and injured, sorry, there uh, that opportunity has come around. So you work really hard on your kind of add-ons. I mean, I've seen you spend like an hour after the end of the formal training sessions yeah. that were doing your stuff, and and it's that kind of dedication you've now got this opportunity, and you think, you know what, that must be worth it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I like to work really hard and make sure I've covered all bases, just so that I'm not going into a game, you know, having not kind of practiced anything properly and, and made sure I kind of nail it through the week so that I'm you know full of confidence going into the game so it's something that uh, over the years yeah I've put in a lot of hours and again working with all the specialist skills coaches and stuff it's um, yeah there's a lot of kind of emphasis on that at Glasgow and that so um, yeah we've worked hard and uh, hopefully kind of put it all together this weekend. Now in terms of goal kicking um, you landed pressure goals last week for yeah. Glasgow against the Ospreys uh, any tips from, from wee brother here? <laughs> yeah, I got a phone call from him after the Wales game, making sure I'd uh, tuned in. So um, we've, uh, we do stuff every now and again when I go home. We always go down to the Duffus and have our competitions at the at the How and that with uh, an old bag of balls that Dad's got from uh, here, there and everywhere. So uh, it's always good fun. But um, now nah, there's a bit of friendly rivalry, but he's been showing me the way recently. George, um, last time round for the under-20s, 8 out of 8 against Wales. Um, and you, you were just kicking them from here, there, and everywhere. Um, how much, how much of goal kicking for you is is a is a kind of a rhythm thing? How much is it routine? How much is it mental? I think, yeah, the routine part of it's massive. You just want to go into every kick um, the same way. And I mean, a lot of it's in the head. If you if you've got that confidence, stepping up to the ball, knowing that you, you're thinking you're going to get it over nine times out of ten, it's going to go the place you want it. So. Um, now having a few um, on the trot, I mean, I've kind of got my confidence up, but I just got to keep the same routine and and keep hopefully putting them over. So you're doing that at the same time as you're coming to terms with a, a position that you've not had a lot of experience in. Um, how how is the transition to scrum half going for you? It's good. I'm really enjoying the uh, kind of different aspects of the game. Like Pete said, um, just after training just trying to work on cover all the bases at nine so passing from the base, box kicking, there's a lot of different skills involved but um, I've had a lot of help from like Chris Pat Patterson and the uh, guys at the club so just trying to keep everything taken over and also keep on top of the, the skills at ten as well to, to kind of cover all bases. So last time round against Wales, um, Pete I know sent a terrific text to you after, <laughs> after the win. Yeah. Um, I guess you'll be here on, on Saturday, hopefully after having does, done the business against Italy on the Friday night in Netherhill. Yeah, hopefully uh, we get a result on, on Friday and it'd be great to come out and watch Pete. I've not, not seen him since he played in the under-18 final, I think, from <laughs> Battle Baxter, so uh, it's been a long time coming, but it's great to see him getting a shot at 10 and hopefully a couple of wins for, for Scotland would be great.